<laughs> dude, I often forget that I'm 36. Same. Dude, I will like there was we were watching Home Alone last Children. night. Children. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> we were wa- we were watching Home Alone last night. And so, you know, there's a whole joke about what does his dad do to afford oh, yeah. all these kids going right? to Paris and all this stuff. Something and I, and so I was sitting there watching I'm like, how old are these parents supposed to be? Because they look, you know, pretty They look good. like they're late forties, fifties. And fifties. And Jess is like, I bet you they're like in their forties. And so she pulls it up, and the girl who plays the mom, I can never remember her name, plays also. Catherine O'Hara. Catherine O'Hara. She was 36. No. I movie. was like, no. Dude, there's so, there's got to be something. Because we 36. do not look like 30-year-olds looked to us when we were kids. Yeah, you look 50. No. <laughs> Rude. I'm just kidding. That beard is awesome, though. I right love now, it. Shaylee said I could uh, no shave November. It. No way. Yeah. So I was like, deal. Shaylee? Very yeah. distinguished. Right? Because I grew it out for my Viking costume, and she's like, you can do no shave November if you want. She Get digs it, bro. Sweet. She, she digs she's it. She's coming around. Cause, I know. Because it's like a beard on a heavy set guy isn't. No, it's gross. It's gross. But because you lost 60 something pounds, now you can Now my the beard. face is thinned out. My beard can look glorious <laughs> again. Dang, dude. Yeah, baby. Okay. Now I'm digging. <laughs> <laughs> Who's leading? Cam is. Cam is. I'm taking it away. Welcome back to Fives and Crowd. <laughs> Hello. We're your favorite group of buddies. We just hang out and talk about stuff. It's a good time here. Don't, don't even know. don't even try to narrow down that freaking accent. What are you? I was gonna say Australian, Australian, Australian or, or Canadian. I have no idea. Or Minnesotian or whatever. <laughs> All of them. He's oh, an Aust- he's an Australian in Minnesota. We go up there. <laughs> <laughs> that means Canada every once in a while. Canadian nerd. bacon. <laughs> but me and my four besties here. We got Chris, Hello. Austin, hey. Tony, and hey. Zach. Hola. <laughs> and we're we're just here having a good time. You know, we we decided to take it upon ourselves. To ask, not, no, sorry, not to ask, but to answer the questions that people are just too afraid to ask, you know, because who better to give advice than a bunch of random dads? <laughs> <laughs> who can't Buckle remember up. remember their own ages. Buckle up, buttercups. <laughs> this one will be not safe for work. It's, it's most likely. Life. Yes. Yeah, maybe not even for life. We'll try not to go too crazy. But uh, we're just, you know, we're just using Reddit and uh, the questions of these little scaredy cats. This was Tony's idea. Also, I'm going to point that out. (laughs) If you're related to us, you know, maybe. Stop watching. Yeah, stop watching. Probably. Click it off. Click it off. Um, I I mean, mine isn't uh, too afraid to ask, but I saw this question. I, I actually wanted to know what actor or actresses instantly ruin a movie for you? Sarah Jessica Parker. Samuel L. Jackson. Valid, valid. Samuel L. Jackson. Will Ferrell. What? Um, wow. Mine for Will Ferrell? Wow. For a long time so was Brittany sad. Murphy. Depending on the type of movie for Will Ferrell. I couldn't, okay. Anytime I saw her, I was like, Ugh. I can see that. It's, it's the same thing with Samuel Jackson for me. It's depending on the type of movie, but nine times out of ten, I'm usually, like, I'm okay with him in the Marvel movies. But outside of that, I'm usually like, nah. That's because he's not he's Samuel out. L. Jackson-y. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. He's Maybe Amanda Seyfried. Yeah. I, I like him as a voice, like when he voices cartoons. I don't even yeah. like him as a voice. Like, I'm a little upset that he's in the new Garfield movie. <laughs> Is he really? I didn't yeah. know he was either. He plays Garfield's dad. Yeah. Bro, that oh, movie dang. looks good. It looks so good. I'm so <laughs> excited. Yeah. Is Mike Chris tra- Pratt the voice? Yeah. Because yes. I, I watched the trailer. Where I couldn't have sound, so I didn't listen. I was just watching it. <laughs> I've done that so many times. <laughs> so I was like, who's the voice? <laughs> the uh, one for me, me, but I actually did slowly come around, and I still kind of have a hard time with her, but not fully, is Zoe Deschanel. Really? Oh, what? Yeah, I, you loved New Girl, though. I, I, I do love yeah, New Girl. Okay. But for Schmidt and... Dude. Uh, Nick. What's his name? Nick. Nick. Yeah. It's, Nick yeah. and Schmidt make it's that so true. One thousand percent. Yeah. Dude. She like she's like the least character. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's like played as well, the and Winston main character. Yeah. He gets funnier later. He does. Nick it, is my favorite. Nick, Actually, Nick I don't know. I could do Schmidt. I don't know. They're we both my favorite. They're so Schmitty. good. I, need, yeah. I was actually just thinking about that. I oh, want to so go good. back and watch that again. You know, they talk about a series that literally ended <laughs> at a pinnacle. Because well, you... they at the very end of the last season, they were pregnant. 
And how funny would it have been to watch that group grow, like go through with parenthood a baby. with right? a babyhood? It would have been great. You know, they well, they got canceled. Yeah, they got canceled. They got canceled uh-huh. by Fox, and because Fox is good at that. Yeah, <laughs> and they tried so hard to get it. Like they picked do up. Why did they, they cancel, cancel it? A lot of shows. I can't remember why they. And yet, Family Guy know. still goes strong. Like Forever. I love Family Guy. Whoa. And we're not. No. We're not. We're not coming at Family Guy. No, I'm it's not. The principal. I There's love no reason that they should be canceled. No, 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 no. Hear me out. It's the principal. I yes, I love Family Guy, but of any show that's gonna be canceled. It's amazing that that one is hanging in there. I always feel I have bad taste because all the shows I end up getting into get canceled. Yep. <laughs> like Rev, uh, what was that? Revolution. Dude, I loved that show. That was a great show. No, I'm right. I'm right there with you. Yeah. Like, well, it's the it's the what original show? concept. Revolution. It's the original yeah. stuff mm. that like get, ends up getting canceled. It's like, come well, on, let us see something different. That's well, one where electricity all of a sudden disappears from the planet. And like, yeah, you it was it was really good. Mm. Simpsons. Family Guy and South, South Park, Park are all grandfathered in. Yeah. They've all got the old <laughs> code, oh, yeah, so yeah. they're fine. They've toned down. And it's something about the Dude, cartoon, South Park's I guess. South Park's been doing some funny stuff. South Park always will. They're Yeah, they're immune. You're going to watch but the, Simpson the creators do the voices? Toned down. Like, I don't gonna... think Simpsons has toned it down as it is Family Guy and South Park have stepped it up. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> it could be. There you go. Did you? <laughs> well, it could be. Well, did you hear that uh, Homer's going to start stop choking Bart? Yep. Yeah. Really? No yeah. longer He's choking done. Bart. No more choking Bart. Dang. That's stupid. <laughs> so they toned it down. <laughs> Why are you? Why are <laughs> Dang. Did you? Speaking of like raunchy and like naughty cartoons, did you ever watch Brickleberry? Brickleberry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think you and me watched it. I only watched Dude, a few Daniel episodes. Tosh was the voice of like this little bear cub. And then, oh my gosh, the rest <laughs> of them were. That show, that was over the top, but it was, there was it was good. My buddy had me, he, he talked me into watching, what was that one? It was about pu- kids going through puberty. Oh. Oh, it was I know terrible. What you're talking about. Is it Netflix? Big Mouth? Yes. Yeah. I've heard I've never of it. watched it. I've never it looked, watched it. It looked stupid. It was terrible. What are you going to do? I hated the animation. The uh, yeah. Brickleberry always will have a soft spot in my heart because that's the only show I've ever watched with you. Oh. Like, I've never watched it outside of that. And we've watched, I think it was like a handful of episodes throughout the course of that time. But yeah. every time I watched him with you, I died laughing. <laughs> Brickleberry. Oh, my gosh. Here, I got uh, I got one of those uh, high questions again. Okay. This one I personally don't understand as much as I hate to admit it. So you'll have to explain it to me. What happens if Pinocchio says, my nose will now grow? Hmm. Oh, that's a brain teaser. A well, tickler. if he tells the truth, it shrinks. So, I mean, my nose will not grow. No, now, 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 now grow. Now, now grow. grow. My nose will now so grow. He probably but, just grow and then shrink back. Grow and shrink back because he's telling the lie. But he but can't he make it. Lying until but he he's told telling it. the truth, which then it won't do it. So then it's a lie. Yeah. But we'll just be delayed. Delayed. Give it 10 seconds. Wait, yeah. <laughs> it's like, wait, that was a lie. Grow. Now you're a liar. <laughs> now you're a liar. See, but then it would grow and then it would shrink back. Hmm. <laughs> There's some questions on here. My go- Dude, why? These like break the brain. Like, <laughs> right? what's, what's that one where it's you have one question to ask and one guard of one door will tell the truth and one guard will tell a lie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so you have to ask one question that will lead you to the safe door. That one's always a really good pay- brain teaser. What time is it? <laughs> there you go. Because <laughs> I remember, I can't remember the answer to that riddle, too. It's like, don't you like at? Because you can't ask one. Is. If you ask one, if the other one's a liar. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Isn't that in the labyrinth? I, yeah, it is. With David Bowie. That freaking and- demented show. <laughs> <laughs> Pounce, baby, pound. Dude, that thing gave me nightmares. My sister loved that. <laughs> that thing, show. the that, whole show. That, <laughs> I don't remember David that Bowie and the onesie. <laughs> bro, it was. Oh no! It, don't was, that. <laughs> it was out there for the world to see. Bro. Thankfully, as a kid, his creepy hair and makeup was more distracting. The power I feel like of Jennifer Hoobie. Conley hasn't aged a day. Oh, she's <laughs> like, <laughs> well, she has. Aged many days. Mm-hmm. Well, but she's still know, hot, even in freaking Top Gun. Top Gun. Oh yeah, I forgot. 
That's such a good show. Dude, so is the new Mission Impossible. I, I want to watch it again. Um, Haley Atwell. <laughs> here's another one. Who knew what time it was when the first clock was made? Sundial. Shoot. <laughs> Wait, what was that? That's true. Who knew what time it was when the first clock was made? Sundial. Yeah, it was a sundial. They, they could just... tell by the position of the sun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or they just guessed, turned it on, and it just happened to be noon. And like, We're sticking retreated. to it. What blows my mind is how they, I mean, I know it's just fractions of a gear, but it's also the speed that, that always blows my mind because how are they so perfect? Right. My mind can't wrap around how much power is needed to sufficiently and accurately power a clock or a watch. It <laughs> blows. I don't even want to think about it. It hurts my brain. Well, you know how you know how they say that like all our phones are based on like the atomic clock. Yeah, that's in like Arizona or something like that. Like, what is what makes that clock so special? <laughs> it's perfect. By thought, whose standard? I thought it was. I thought it wasn't the one in Arizona. I thought it was the one in London. Some of that. Well, time was already accepted. The atomic clock is a clock that measures by monitoring Ooh. the resonant frequency of atoms. God. It is based on atoms having different energy levels. Electron states in an atom are associated with different energy levels. Oh, my goodness. This is way more than I thought it would be. <laughs> I right. straight up thought it was a giant clock with like a plutonium core or something. <laughs> <laughs> Zach has a question. Go ahead, Zach. Give it to us, baby. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> I hate baby. that song. All right. I hate that song. I do. I love Offspring, and that is their worst song. Coming. What? Oh, it is one thousand percent their agree worst. With that. Song. It is not. Oh, one thousand percent. Top five easily. Nah. F worst song. Yeah. It's number <laughs> one. <laughs> God. Dude, have you listened to their albums? Their yeah, albums I have listened incredible. to all their albums. Yeah. That is their worst song. No, it is not. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it is not. Yeah. It's one of my favorite songs. Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and all the girlies say I'm pretty fly. For a white guy. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. No way, man. Mm. It's their worst. Ugh. You don't know. They really oh, should. Man, hit, us with, hit us with the question. They I'm really hitting it with the question. If someone changes gender... It's unacceptable to refer to them as who they are presented as years before. You accept them as they are now. So why is it acceptable to refer to an unsavory tweet from 10 years ago and not accept the person has changed since then and isn't the same person they are now? That's a good point. Speaking of facts. I, think, I, I mean, I think we have as a culture kind of gotten past the whole cancel culture. Yeah. Have we though? Not I feel like fully. We have. Not fully. Pendulum. I think it's I think swinging. the pendulum's going back. Yeah. We are. We are because the freaking idiots who pushed it are starting to get canceled. Uh, <laughs> I see that. So they're they're getting the taste of their own medicine. They're like, oh, maybe this is not a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you freaking morons. <laughs> mm. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> That's how it, it pisses me <laughs> off because. You by doing that, you're literally saying that nobody has any chance to better themselves. Yep. Yeah. Yep. What yeah. freaking idiot didn't say or do something stupid when they were Dude, children? I still do. I be. I'll be honest, man. There are days when I get the history of my Facebook posts from like 15 years ago. I'm like, oh, yeah. why? Yeah. yeah. Why all, would I post that? We all should be allowed to learn and make those mistakes. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. And, and not have to like not have it be career ending. Yeah. It's Agreed. dumb. Agreed. Yeah. Sir. Cancel, cancel culture. <laughs> yeah. Cancel, cancel culture. Bring back bully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like for real. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> what? Here's another. Go ahead. This one's kind of dumb, but how do you throw away a garbage can? <laughs> and, and one. And turn it one. inside but out. Then how do you throw that one away? Turn it inside out. <laughs> oh, oh, that, yeah, that's a good point. Mm. Ooh, here's a good one. Okay, why do people think it's so wrong to check out cleavage or butts when they seem so obviously displayed? That's a very good question. 
Again, Stop I looking think, at me, swine. I think we're thing. coming around. I think we're coming around. Here's the thing. <laughs> I mean, we got nipple bras now. They, yeah. they, exactly. want it, they want it to be displayed for specific people. What do you mean? They only want people they like or want to comment on, on it to comment on it. And they want everyone else who they don't like to pretend it doesn't exist. I was wondering why they don't put thimbles okay. in sewing kits anymore. They're taking them all for those bras. <laughs> yeah, oh they are. Bro, go for the extra hard ones. <laughs> oh my gosh, they are. <laughs> I thought they were just cutting Did costs. Did you see that Cutting costs. <laughs> no. Did you see the video where it's an actual song from the 1930s, and it was like a really dirty song. No. Oh. Oh, it was, is it the woman? Yeah. The the where she's like, I got nipples the size of the tip of my thumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got, I know what you're talking about. What oh, the gosh, what was, it was it was naughty and it was an actual <sighs> song from the 1930s. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. How do I ask a classmate to please stop scrolling through TikTok with the volume up during class? Hey, could you please <laughs> stop scrolling through <laughs> that, TikTok? Yeah, just straight up ask him. Because you're it's very distracting and I'm trying to learn and educate and better myself. Could you please Stop scrolling through TikTok <laughs> with your volume up. <laughs> no, man. I've <laughs> I found that song. It's called Shave Em Dry. Was, what? Whoa. The best part is he's not even That's doing it. it on purpose. <laughs> that was like perfect timing. <laughs> what, what happened? What did I miss? I'm sorry. Oh, my I was God. trying to find this song. Dude. <laughs> Chris literally, <laughs> at, he's like, I got one. Read the question again. Oh, my. I got to find it. I'm an idiot. Listen, how, <laughs> listen to this. No. It says, how do I ask a classmate to please stop scrolling through TikTok with the volume up during class? Oh, hey, well, could you, you please do it. stop scrolling through TikTok? And, and, and then as he like, said that, off, you start class. Music. <laughs> <laughs> could you please? My volume button's been sticky. It's not my fault. <laughs> why so is your basically, why is the volume sticky? button sticky? <laughs> I don't know. Because he's listening to that song. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can I play a little bit of it? Do it. Let's, let's hear Shave this. Shave them dry. Shave them dry? Kind of naughty. I got something to see my legs. I'll make a dead man come. Baby, won't you shave them dry? Shave them dry. No, no, no. The dead man? Won't you dry me, baby? Dry me until I cry. <laughs> They knew that word back then? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a new word. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> anyway. Oh, my. I want to find had the nipple per- comment. If I had pearls, right I would at the beginning. Them. You got to go back. Oh, is it at the beginning? <laughs> Pearl, I clutch them. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's wow. not even, oh. All right, there you go. Parental <laughs> guidance. It's not even parental. Yeah, like <laughs> she doesn't even sing it well. It's the it's, technology. It's like that southern. <laughs> I feel like that's like that Louisiana. Weird. Get inside the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Wow. Here's one. Does anyone actually find professional bodybuilders attractive? Other professional bodybuilders. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's what? a hard that's a hard. Does one anyone for me. does anybody actually find professional bodybuilders attractive? Depends. That's what. It, Dwayne the Rock Johnson does not count. Oh, damn Zach. it. <laughs> <laughs> then no. <laughs> like, really, like thinking of it, like again, not to sound bad, like that's awesome that they can have that kind of dedication for that body, but like looking at a female bodybuilder, it's just. There's zero attraction there because yeah. it's just Here, too much. But here's, here's the thing. thing, though. I was going to say, um, when you've got someone who is like a bodybuilder and actually takes care of their body, like, for instance, like what Jess was doing like yeah. before baby number three. Yes. Like, fantastic. Like, yeah. she was gorgeous. I'm not saying that she's not. <laughs> wow. Put Tread my lightly. foot in my mouth. I mean... She took care of her body. Yeah. Looked fantastic. She was bodybuilding, all that stuff. Yeah. That was attractive. Yeah. Now, if you get the other girls who are like, 
there's too far. Tone their muscle. Like, yeah, you can go way too far. Tone's well, okay. Bulk is not. There well, you I, I guess that's kind of what well, they're it's, getting it's, at by professional bodybuilders. Like, they are the ones that are, they're, like, jacked. Well, here's the thing. So my friend, Chantel, she's actually, she lives down in Arizona right now. She is a professional IF, BBB, whatever mm-hmm. it is, bodybuilder. Like, yeah. she, per, she competes on a national too. stage right now. She's not made it in the top. I think she made it in the top five, but not top three. Anyway, absolutely shredded. But she's not like, it's not like the muscle. It's she the, do the swimsuit? Kind of, yeah. yeah. But they're only that tone for the show. It's true. They literally they do it, they usually go like water, water fast. I've yeah. heard that. Yeah. yeah. So when they're not doing that, then it's like they, I mean, they just look really and cool. not, and obviously they're covered in fake tan because it makes the it yeah. shows off the muscle definition yeah. better. So, so they go on thick that being with said, it. If, if they're doing the shows and how they Sorry. look during the shows, I don't think that's attractive at all. No, the shows, not so much. And that is like a that is a very hard deficit, right? Like they're they're on a very strict diet at that point, yeah. they've cut down on their water weight. Like, yeah, that's weird, yeah, because they, they're on show, but after that, like, dude, they look great, man, yeah. But I just personally, I don't like the super bulked women. You know, the it's like when they're when their shoulders get broader than yours, then it's like, mm, or when yeah. their like pectoral muscles are bigger than their boobs themselves. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a two step program. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta know which one you cringed at. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. That's you gotta just say some it. weird qu- questions. Say it. <laughs> It says, is a frying pan a sexist Christmas gift? I saw that. I was like, <laughs> a frying well, it depends, pan? bro. Like, for you, you give me some hex clad. Oh, are you I'll a be a happy man. have been seeing those, the yeah. Gordon Ramsay bro, ones. Oh. Depends they're on the, what you're into. They're the greatest. You're into cooking. Have you tried them? Oh, yeah, go for yeah it. I have hey, some. And I freaking the... love them. Yeah. Really? I cook almost everything in them. We had we had some of those on our on Mentry. And they're, mm. oh, yeah, dude, they were they're fantastic. fantastic. This one kind of made me laugh a little bit this one's kind of over the top a little bit i'm a girl where does the penis go when boys take a crap what down between the legs <laughs> where do you think it goes i was gonna say i'm like i mean unless the one mine lifts sh- out of the way do, this, do they think we have to like <laughs> lift it up and like it's like i throw it up over clear my the shoulder, way like, <laughs> like a butt flap up tuck it <laughs> just you throw gotta, it over your thigh a you little gotta bit. tuck it down yeah, because if you pee, it's going to go out the seat. you got to tuck it down. Is that Dude, what yeah. they're getting at? I, yeah. no, I guess the, I'm confused. I, by I, the, think the, I think they think it's in the way somehow. Oh, no, it's like, no. No. Well, plenty, you know that. There's plenty of real estate. <laughs> yeah, there's but this thing. person clearly doesn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> a man's taint is 50 to 100% bigger than a female's taint. How do you know that? That's statistics. Have you measured? Statistics. <laughs> He's good. Honey. Did you measure? Walks into the bedroom with a tape measure. It's it's honey, I got to I gotta test something real quick. But I they also say because of microplastics that the male taint is shrinking. What? Yeah. Why? Because they're turning into... <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Uh, huh. well, that's, uh, that's the saying we could do. You don't have to have a small taint about this. <laughs> <laughs> don't shrink your taint, all right? Okay, this question can't be serious. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's some weird ones. I bought a Campbell's condensed soup, and it says to add one can of milk. Yeah. What the F is a can of milk? <laughs> you fill the can. You fill yeah. the can that with the soup milk. was in with milk. Yeah. You can get a can of milk. <laughs> they it's condensed. Do canned milk. Yeah. <laughs> Or powdered Dude, milk. there was a period of time when I my parents gave us powdered milk. For because what? Because they wanted to save money or something. But then they told us like not Gross. too long ago, like a month, like a couple months ago, they told us. I like, don't have an answer. They're like, we used to buy real milk for us because the canned <laughs> milk sucked. It's like, you bottles. <laughs> that stuff was the worst. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, freaking. Could you keep a small carnivorous plant alive on a steady diet of semen? Oh, my God. You need Jesus. You need heavens. Touch grass, you little freaks. Oh, my (laughs) God. Ground yourself. (laughs) Go stand in the sun in the highway. I'm telling you. (laughs) 
I said, <laughs> go stand in the highway. Is that what you said? I, said? I said go stand in the sun in the highway. Oh, <laughs> that was a two-parter. Yep. Okay. Oh, man. I'm having a hard time navigating Reddit today. Why? I don't know. I just couldn't find okay. anything. <laughs> What's the difference between a replica and a fake? A fake is trying to be perceived as real. A replica, you know that it is a yeah. recreation. Well, here's... Recre- recreation. Mm, yeah. Usually with a replica, don't they try to make it a, of the same say, material? A replica is yeah. more <laughs> authentic. <laughs> Not authentic. Whereas, it, whereas but a fake, more... they try to make it look like it using whatever material. Yeah. Yeah. More. Yeah. That is a good question. Yeah, I've never thought of that. I think of its own. Yeah. But then, yeah. They make it the most what like what the original was. Yeah. Instead that, of a so fake. So, like, for instance, the wrestling belt that you gave me. Yeah. That's a replica. Mm-hmm. A if fake. Would be some would be the ones like you get at the yeah at like the store Walmart like the plastic or yeah like the plastic gold ones plastic that. not actual metal or yeah. it's not said that it's a replica and somebody were to try to pass it off as real then you'd be like no that's fake so I mean you could go both yeah. angles with that yeah like the purses that you sell the guys sell on the street in New York also hey, side note did you see that if, if get you a, try to get bring a real Gucci bag it's a fake Gucci bag if you yeah. try to bring a fake bag it's a into replica. the US it'll be <laughs> confiscated now what? good like these high-end bags if you bring in a fake even if you didn't know it was a fake tsa will confiscate oh it. really yeah how do they know it's a fake they probably have Why, tests though? or something i boycotted. to stop fake bags mm. coming into the country well then they need to do china because right? i team you like oh, i, I boycotted fake. that because there's a lot of like oh temu whatever it is yeah with with a lot of the products i use for what i do for work they some people put so much money into research and development on these things mm-hmm. and then they go around and sell these things for so cheap they just steal the whole thing it's well, a lot of them, and everything a lot they of them will sell go. them for nothing which Jeez. i understand if you're trying to say but i mean those people i mean you're taking away people wanting to be creative and wanting to be what's the word i'm thinking of industrious Not innovative innovative well yeah cuz a lot of them they'll go to these chinese manufacturers right. pay them to make it and then those manufacturers will just make it themselves and yeah, that it it, they shouldn't be able to do that though. I mean, yeah, but who's gonna stop them? Well, <clears throat> ban Timu. I got one. Timu or Timu. Timu, Temu, Temu, Temu. I always call it Timu. I have no idea. I got one. I hope because in English it would be. Don't take this the wrong way. Do black people's eye do black people's eyelids block out sun better than white people? Oh, that's a good question. That is a good question. Yes. I would imagine so. Hmm. Yes. I was going to say pigment, because right? they don't they don't burn as easily. Right. Yeah. They got because those, of the melanin. They got those. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was gonna joke. Next say, question. They have those blackout curtains. <laughs> oh, no. oh my gosh. <laughs> well, we're done for the night. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I bet it would. Bro, that's good. That's <laughs> good. I bet it would. <laughs> wow. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Canceled. <laughs> All love. Just a I good know. joke. It that's was. Funny. That was good. That was a good one. Here's yeah. an interesting one, too. Why do some people still believe Michael Jackson was innocent? Because <laughs> he was. <laughs> You are Elaborate. devil's advocate, <laughs> sir. You, <laughs> you are a wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here you go. <laughs> when a couple announces they're pregnant, does everyone picture the couple having sex? No. Just I will you. now. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Question. <laughs> I will now. Thanks. You're welcome. Yep. That's oh, why I that's said that comment. I'm going to plead the fifth on that one. What was there? There was a. I, was, I, you were the it. one that wrote that comment. <laughs> I've said it on here before that when Jenny and I have been at the doctor's office for her oh, pregnancy right. visits, right. I can't help but look around the room and just think like everybody here has had sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I mean, actually, how, how far down the rabbit hole do you go with that, though? 
There could be some uh, yeah, it's, it's just, just, just kind of assume like. Oh, I'm, I He's like, what, what position? What position? <laughs> what position okay, that's for you? going down the rabbit hole a little bit. <laughs> Someone down the rabbit hole. That's how they got in that predicament. <laughs> uh, that reminds me of the joke. Um, there's a, a blonde brunette and a redhead, and they're all sitting in the doctor's office, pregnant, going to see the doctor. And uh, the brunette says, uh, I'm, I'm having a boy. I know because I was on bottom. And the redhead says, well, I'm having a girl. I know because I was on top. And the blonde just starts to cry, and they're like, what's wrong? She goes, I'm having puppies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, because of doggy style. Yeah. yeah. Oh. What did you think? <laughs> what do you think I thought? I'm it was I a thought it involved a dog at first. <laughs> it's oh. now a woman's best friend. <laughs> Jeez. And it's not that dark of a joke. <laughs> oh, well, I thought it was for a second. Okay, well, I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> That's a good question. What happens if a country goes bankrupt? I don't know. We're in a deficit. We are legally bankrupt. <laughs> what does happen? Do you think someone just takes them? It depends. <laughs> just to... I don't know. Well, like, <laughs> do you like think, chapter do you think eleven the US, or do you chapter... think the U.S. could get repoed? <laughs> right. Is it a chapter? Yeah. Is it a chapter thirteen where we promise to pay it back? Or is it a seven where they just wipe it clean? Do we just <laughs> like make fresh I start? Mean, <laughs> money's made up anyways, so it's true. Because they they always come out and they're like, "Yeah, we'll take on some more debt." Who declares it? Yeah, who would even declare it? It's like we can just keep going in more and more debt. It's like, is there a monthly Think payment being made somewhere that's keeping us eventually, from eventually? Yeah, our taxes. Chickens come home Touché. to roost, though. That's the thing. Think about Venezuela. What yeah. about Venezuela? They went, they went bankrupt. Anarchy. Now they're just eating dogs in the streets and all that stuff. So, oh. yummy. Isn't socialism fun? So fun. Hmm. What's your thoughts? I don't know. You, I don't have any. Well, let's see. What, someone, did we post it or something? I can't remember what it was, but it was like, this is how we're paying it back because we're literally, we're taxed. On the money that we've already been taxed for, dude. It's on taxed. money that we've already been taxed for, like with food taxes and stuff. It's like theft. You yeah. get taxed on something somebody already paid taxes on. Yeah. Like yep. if you buy a vehicle, you're permanently taxed on that vehicle paying registration every year. Yeah. Or, or ridiculous. Or food. Like look at it this Your way. Your fuel is taxed. I sell you're, Red Bull. It's and taxed. <laughs> we sell that into it, and then those people are taxed on the Red Bull that we sell in. They, in turn, sell it to the people who buy it, and they're taxed. And then, yeah, it's just everywhere you it's turn around. It's just like credit cards, just, too. It's tax. You pay yeah, 3% you know. on a credit card, right, using your credit card, or the company does that you use the credit card mm -hmm. with. Then they use that money. It gets our credit card. That You know, it's just 3%, 3% whittles it away to mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. And then that dollar disappears. So does money disappear? Yes. Let's hope. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Here's a serious question for you. Got it. That How was many, a serious question. Well, this one's more serious. <laughs> How many chuggas are you supposed to say before choo choo? <laughs> chugga 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 choo choo. No, chugga, no, no, chugga, no. chugga 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 choo. Four. Wow. Chugga 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 choo choo. Gosh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's three. Uh, <laughs> we're all. You can hear us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sounds like we're in a Friday That is a fun movie. word though The word on this or There's the... eight chuggas to a single chew <laughs> What? Eight. Oh yeah eight chugga, chugga, So chugga, 16 chugga, chuggas chugga, 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 for two choo choos Yeah what? No chugga, That chugga, is chugga, too chugga, many Chugga 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 choo choo I don't think I did it all Chugga 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 choo choo No Now you're major pain over here So under this it says I've always said two Chugga chugga choo choo but now my kid is saying three. However, my kid's preschool teacher says one, and it pisses me off that they aren't there aren't enough chuggas for a chew. How's the train supposed to go anywhere? They're, they're downshifting. See, mine's okay. going, man. Chugga chugga. Mine's chugga, on the. Chugga, chugga. Mine's See, I on guess the it railway. depends. Is it going down a hill? Is it going up a hill? Is it in high gears or low gears? <laughs> like it's Austin's is. Is the driver Austin's intoxicated is or is he's he not? in high he's gears. <laughs> Yeah, he's a drummer. He's already gone through his low <laughs> gears going. and he's on his way up. Chugga, chugga, he's a drummer. Chugga, chugga, chugga. I see. I do four. It's the rhythm. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Yeah. Chugga choo choo. I don't know now. Chugga chugga choo choo. Chugga 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 choo. All right, I I got one. It's eight. It's four. <laughs> <laughs>
Can we Four count? per chew, so eight. <laughs> How can I nicely tell my friend I don't want her sitting in my chair afraid she could break it? Hey, fatty. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, you could learn from uh, the Big Bang Theory with Shelton. What did he do? I can't remember what it is. He has a specific spot and Penny sits in it one time. I don't oh, know exactly what he did. He starts but... to like describe because of the draft from here and this and mm -hmm. that, and it's like perfectly placed. Yeah, I, I think to the point where she just gets up and moves. I've thought, I've thought about that. I've had this situation. I've thought about it. I was like, ah, should I send? I never said anything. I was like, I'll just send a bill. Send I, a bill? Yeah. What? <laughs> to replace the chair. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. So the chair actually broke? No. Oh. No, you like if it does, I'm planning like, on it breaking. If it breaks, I'll just send a bill. The structural integrity. I think of shallow hell. It's like, what is this chair even made out of? <laughs> uh, steel? Metal? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, you should get it welded better. <laughs> <laughs> Unrated. Like, uh, that is a great film from Jack Black. Oh, I, I love it. I need to watch film. that again. It's so good. Orange County. Was oh, I haven't seen that in ages. That was a good one. You know which one I saw come That's... across that I want to make sure I watch again is Saving Silverman. Do you remember that oh, one? Oh, yeah. Where uh, oh, yeah. it's got Jack Black, uh, Steve Zahn, and uh, Jason Biggs. Yeah, yeah, Jason Biggs. And he starts dating the girl everyone hates, and so they try and, like, kidnap her. <laughs> that movie's hilarious. Um, it's cognitive function. Here's one. My girlfriend has gained weight, and I am losing attractiveness for her. Ooh. What do I do? Shallow. That's exactly what I was thinking. You're shallow, and you're not really. You reevaluate your actual feelings. Yep. Yeah. There's not real love there, if that's the mm. case. That's lust, not love, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. like especially how much I, weight are we talking? Are we talking like she was super skinny? And she put on like five pounds, or are we talking she's like a hundred like pounds over? If you make a <laughs> blue streak, when he's like. Gosh, when I went in, you were like, pickety cow, pickety cow. Now you're like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> and some Oprah shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it doesn't say how much. It's but. more of a concern thing. Like, if you're worried about them, that's different than being like, Ugh. well, yeah. <sighs> like that. Yeah. But yeah, but he flat out says, though, he's like, I'm less attracted. Like, no, then you that, don't actually love the yeah, person. At that point, you're shallow and you just need to move on. I, I could see it from both angles. Because part of your attractiveness to your significant other may be their drive. Yeah, true. And if part of that drive is getting up and going to the gym or taking care of themselves or the way that they eat and, you know, stuff like that, like that is part of the personality of the person that you married. And so if that went off the haymaker and they started slamming, you know, Big Macs and not doing anything and sitting on the couch all day and, you know, doing all these things, they don't have the drive. That's not the person you married. True. I could see how that could instantly become a turnoff. Yeah. So I got maybe, duped. No, so maybe yeah. not so much the actual physical feature of the girlfriend, well, but yeah. it's the but it's know. the it's the but results the, of it. But it's also one of those things that you work through. Like, yeah, you, you should be having this conversation with her. Well, and that's, prob know, that's probably you. why he's asking is because he wants to work it through with her, but it's a, obviously going to be a touchy subject. Yeah. Let's find a better way to talk about it. I actually have a friend who he got married and his wife, like within the first year or two of them being married, like she all of a sudden just became like kind of lazy like a homebody, like she wouldn't get out of bed till like one in the afternoon. She kept getting late for work. She it's like depression, like, but like yeah. bad, like she was constantly. And it's like, we just got married. And like, where did the drive go? It's, it's kind of like she had the drive and she was doing all this stuff and they got married and she's like, no, I'm not going to do anything anymore. Just like almost immediately. And so they ended up getting divorced because same thing. It's like, he's like, you have no desire or drive to do anything. You're not. And they try, he tried to help her. Like, I think she was going to therapy and doing stuff to try to get better. And she just, like, kind of, like, gave up. She was like, no, nah, I don't want to do it. Like, giving up on it type mm -hmm. thing. And so, yeah, she... He... And in that case, it almost seems like the person he was dating was fake. And yeah. then once he married her, then the real side came She's out. like, I can I can relax now. I'm done chasing yeah. or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. interesting. I don't know. 
I I can see it from. I uh, no, you you make a valid point. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's just the wording of the question. Maybe. Did, what was the question? I, I, was it about the physical no, attraction? It says my yeah. girlfriend has gained weight and I'm losing attractiveness for her. But he doesn't mention what if do it's physical or emotional or. It sounds to me like it's physical. Well, yeah. He, well, he, well, that's where. On, I, yeah. Yeah. Click Is on there, the more. Does it have more? There's no more to it. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, he's 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 citing the reason for why he finds her less yeah, attractive. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Yeah, because she because oftentimes you'll see like they have an excerpt and it's like explains all those things like they right. have no drive they're just sitting they're not yeah that would explain it more <laughs> you know I, well and I get that too but I don't think it's like even in the she's pregnant dickhead <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> right like, well, over the last couple months <laughs> <laughs> yeah seriously <laughs> she's got his child <laughs> yeah, this one, this one's funny. It says, please explain this to me. I'm lost. Doctors before an x-ray be like, don't worry. It's perfectly safe. And then the dude goes to Egypt to press the button. <laughs> <laughs> and they go behind a blast wall, they like, man. It's like a foot, bu- yeah. it's like a foot like, thick of cement. I remember what the comedian freak? Talking about okay. that, favorite. It's like, don't worry. You'll be fine. All right, Mr. Birch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, they're doing that That's constantly long, like, all the time, too. though. Like, so. Yeah. I actually they have, have heard, I've heard that uh, X-ray techs have a insurmountably like high amount of uh, radiation. Radiation, but they like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, their probability of getting cancer is ridiculously high. Like, mm. you're almost guaranteed to get cancer. So don't be a radiologist or whatever. Yeah, has a pain. great job. <laughs> Here's a kind of a funny one. Can I get a prostitute and just ask her if she could cuddle or hug me for an hour? Oh, buddy. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's, guy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> that one, like, really kind of tugs at the heartstrings a little bit. <laughs> I mean, but yes, you can. You definitely can. I mean, can. they'll do anything for you for an hour. Dude, that'd be the easiest money she ever made. Gosh, <laughs> I didn't even have to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Here's a sex question: Is missionary actually boring for men? Nah, not even a little. Mm-mm. Nah, man. Why do you think they? There's not any part of that that is boring. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> how how many Mission Impossibles are there now? <laughs> I freaking like nine. Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise has built a lifetime around it, man. Yep. I feel like a spy agent, you know? <laughs> Dude, I was like, I, what are you getting at? I was <laughs> waiting for it. I was like, where's he going with this one? Dude, I started watching. There uh, it is. <laughs> I started rewatching Home Improvement the other day. Love that show. Oh, that show's show. phenomenal. There are so many sexual innuendos yeah. between Jill and Tim. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. It is so funny. Oh, yeah. That's Especially awesome. now that we're older There's watching it. There's tasteful innuendos. Like, no, it's great. Like, yeah. you look at it, and I'm like, this is such a good example of a healthy relationship. Because they tease each other. Uh-huh. And they have fun with it. Like, yeah. I'm like, this is, this is why... We grew up with a, a pretty good example of what a marriage should be, mm-hmm. and that kids nowadays are watching garbage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like it's it's, it's, it's so funny, funny that funny. you say that because like I mentioned earlier, we were watching Home Alone, mm-hmm. and we were sitting there watching. We're like, man, they just like none of the movies today have what this does. Like mm-hmm. it, it's like got that instant nostalgia vibe. Like even I remember watching it back then, just thinking like this is a great film, and I'm gonna enjoy it for many years. Right. And it just there's no films that are being released today that I feel have that well, same it's like we've talked about it before i feel like movies now they try so hard to make sure they're including all of the all the letters <laughs> yes well that's just a nice way of putting it mm-hmm. like it's just let's make sure we have this and this because we don't want to make these people feel excluded and blah 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 and they, and they and make it's the like, parents like friends like like where's home improvement, home alone, things like that. The parents actually discipline the kids. Yeah. Oh yeah. They actually teach them lessons. They actually tell them. Oh gosh. Well, you know, they really punish them. That was that a? Uh, oh, what's the kid in school with Topanga? Corey, Corey Matt. Oh, Boy Meets World. We Boy, were watching dude, that, that too. That show is phenomenal dude. on life lessons. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying yeah. to get Kaylee to watch both. Mr. Finkel. Boy Meets World. Yeah, Mr. Dude. Finky. 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 No. Oh my gosh. 
Is it Finkel? Yeah, Feeney. George Feeney. Finkel. Feeney. He's still alive. Finkel is Einhorn. <laughs> Einhorn is Finkel. <laughs> what but is that? We, Ace that's Ventura. off of Ace Ventura. Oh, okay. But we were that's talking about is. how the 90s was almost like, and granted, this is totally biased, but the 90s was almost like the golden era of film. Yes. Because it was Gladiator. so... And TV? It was like, like, prime example, Home Alone. There was no agenda. There was no, like really there was not even that big of a plot. It was purely entertainment. Well, you know mm-hmm. it's funny. The, and oh, go ahead, sorry, sorry, no, it was like you didn't have all the CGI that was crazy. You just had good storylines, good plots, and they could be wild because it was the nineties. Yep. Right? Men in black. Oh, that was a good one. Dude. Dude, you had like, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I guess I was 80s. I like I mean, watched those with Scarlet. Well, you know, but it was <laughs> yeah, so good. Was you know what's funny is you watch on Netflix, there's uh, there's a show called The Movies That Made Us, and it does like deep dives on a whole bunch of movies. Yeah. And I'm, well, maybe an exception good. for a couple of them, but most of them were like 80s and 90s movies. Yeah. It's like, because you just don't see that kind of... Yeah. Forever nostalgic yeah. movie. Well, nowadays. there's so With you should them. watch it about Home Alone, especially since you love it so much. Like yeah. it, the story behind it is crazy. Is yeah, it? it really is. Yeah. I loved that one. It was so good. They got they actually lost their funding in the middle of filming it. Really? Yeah. And so they had to go to a different studio to get the money. Really? Yeah. Dude. It was it was barely made. They didn't expect to make much off of it at all. It was crazy. And it was a. I watched huge that with Alden hit. the other night. Dude, that kid was belly rolling, laughing like with oh, everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was so. It was such a. Well, it's all because moment. of uh, Harry and Marv. Yeah. Like I yeah, mean, yeah. Slaps obviously, too. but did you know? Um, I just saw this thing that but, when Marv has the spider put on his face, there was supposed to be like an animatronic spider, and but they were. I couldn't. I don't remember if they like just told him that, or if there really was. But come filming, they couldn't find it and so they had to use the real spider uh-huh. and oh god so that scream and everything is like almost authentic <laughs> <laughs> it has to be authentic it. <laughs> but anyway what, where i was going with that too <laughs> go ahead you're okay um now i forgot damn it <laughs> belly you were rolling, saying he laughing. was belly, belly roll rolling. laughing yeah he was laughing and then every time something would happen he'd like start laughing look at me and then he's like, we don't do that. I was like, no, we did not <laughs> like, Not unless we're being attacked yes, exactly. by rocks. <laughs> it was so funny, dude. I loved it. Yeah. It was it was so good. Did you see the video of these guys like if if the Kevin McAllister pranks were done for real? Oh yeah. Have you I seen that? that? Yeah. And it was like like the paint coming down, for example. It was showing like a uh, uh, mortality. Virtu- like right? a virtual representation if you were to really take a can of paint to the face and like of course it would like shatter your skull yeah, yeah. Oh, and yeah. stuff and like there was a few others oh like the uh when he hangs the hot thing yeah. on the doorknob it was saying that in order to get it that hot the doorknob would just melt yeah right and there was like a few others but it was just fun it was the uh so jess and i are wanting to show micah and Paige that film uh-huh. we, we're gonna have to fast forward to the furnace scene because that scene haunted me for years <laughs> oh, yeah, dude but, why was that so scary i don't know all then's like turn the lights on it'll be okay <laughs> and then he ends up doing it. he's like i told him <laughs> that's funny and then jess was like we should be them for halloween next year i'm like who she's like harry and marv <laughs> I'm like, who are you going to be? She's like, I'll be Marv, you be Harry. Or no, you be Marv and I'll be Harry. And I'm like, so I'll be the tall one. She's like, yeah. I'm like, but he doesn't ha- like ha- Marv or no, Harry doesn't have hair. He's a short one. I'm like, what are you going to do with all your hair? She's like, I'll put on the hat and I'll have the like burned scalp. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. From the second <laughs> and, one. Yeah. And then she's like, and then you could be. Mar- oh, burns- Marv, Marv, yeah, first Marv. One. Gosh, I always yeah. get them mixed yeah. up. Burn and she's like, and you could have one. the you could have the burn mark on your face. That's from in the, the hot second too when he yeah. puts his head in the toilet. It's both. <laughs> oh, the poor guy takes kerosene. a burning. Anyway, sorry. No, I was just saying. Then and then yep. I could be Marv and have the big old burn. Yeah, that'd be iron. hilarious. The iron, you have the iron on your face. It'd be hilarious. That would be good. I'd walk around in bare feet. Yeah. Like just the noises he makes. Dude, it's so good. Jenny and I will always quote the part when he's like, 
you scared Marv? You afraid? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, he's gonna call the cops from a treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love anyway, it. This conversation Guys right here just answers this question. Uh, Why are '90s babies obsessed with their childhood? I don't remember 80s babies always talking about the 80s, and I feel like 2000 babies talk about nostalgia, but it's not personality. But it's not a personality trait. There's a running joke on 90 babies thinking their childhood was different from others. That's because it, it was. was. Dude, it was. It, it it was the golden freaking era. There's 80s like, went a little too hard with the cocaine. <laughs> yeah, the 90s, the they balanced it just right. <laughs> 90s well, the 90s was colorful, man. 80s, it was like acid without the drugs. From what I understand, like 80s was starting to brighten up like the last three or four years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, when we were conceived, you know, yeah. we brought the light to the world. We did, yeah. you know, 87, 86. <laughs> but then, yeah, 90s just flew. And then... Well, and again, it was focused. I think the biggest thing here is that during the 90s, it was focused on the family. It was like everything, the TV shows, sitcoms movies, and all that, yeah. everything had morals, had a message, was teaching lessons constantly. You think of every sitcom we watched as kids, there would always be that moment when the music would like turn into that like, yes, yeah, full song, learning like, moment, that Saved learning moment, the bell. music, Boy yeah. Meets World, Boy meets world. Yeah. Home Improvement, all of them, I've never thought Family of that. Matters, yeah, dude. Yeah. and they and they focused on building a good family unit. So I think, you know, we all had. We had those happy childhood, or we saw a lot of that in our own families. Yeah. Like we, my family, we compared ourselves to Home Improvement all the time, because mm. my mm-hmm. dad was always doing. He would fix everything around the house. He would blow things up. <laughs> he would start fire. Like he once started our station wagon on fire while he was a volunteer firefighter. Firefighter, mind you. He had to push it into the middle of the road and call the fire department he was part of <laughs> to come put it out. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's awesome. But it was, well, dude. It was I even great. remember back in the like growing up, dinner was like, it was mom was always like, "Hey, six six thirty, be home. We're gonna have dinner." And we usually sat around the table. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, two, three days out of the week, we'd sit around the table. Like every Sunday was around the table. Oh, for sure. Talking about our days, having family discussions. Man, like, look at us. I feel at home. It was the best. See, and I miss just, it because our house is so cause tiny. Talking around really a table. Do it. Yeah, it was yeah. just me and my mom during those days. Did you still talk around a table? No, sadly, because she was a single mom working. Oh. So it you was never usually, talked to her at all. It was usually <laughs> like a quick hamburger helper. Well, I'm sorry for bringing that something. up. Hey, no. Bro, I, the I box meals back it. in that day? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> stove for stove top. <laughs> stove top stuff. Right. <laughs> No, I mean, I was and like, I, I just, the-, the thing I loved about it was that I was never in the house. I was always outside playing. It's yeah. dude. I mean, and I was like, yeah, I was always in like bare feet, shirtless, just out enjoying the summer. Yeah, it was a good time. The, uh, Heck yeah. Jess, Jess, you know, she grew up in Ohio. And the very first year I went back east to go to Ohio for Christmas there. It was like a dream come true, man. Their house was like '90s pinnacle. It oh, was like, man. it was like the the house on Home Alone, man. I I I absolutely loved every second there. I'm so sad that they're gonna be moving out here permanently because that means I'm never going back oh, there. Bummer. Oh, it is so great. Should have a Home Alone Christmas then, right? Last Christmas, yeah. Like, Want all to hire them. some bandits. Dude, it'd be great. <laughs> Dude, we'll come raw. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's reenact it, dude. It'd be hilarious. hilarious. If we were going to reenact the Home Alone and break into any house of ours, like I feel like your two, Austin and Chris, oh, yeah. would be the last ones I'd want to do. Austin's because like Jarvis would probably <laughs> lock There's us out. Stairs. Something. <laughs> And then Chris, because let's be honest, Alden is Kevin McAllister. Like he would find ways to make Except those that he'd traps. Have, he'd and, have multiple guns. <laughs> and I'd, I'd shoot you. Right? Instead of micro machines on the ground that you slip on, it's like he just he just shoots it's you. Just bullets, <laughs> like, it's just bullets in a frying pan. <laughs> That's awesome. I found one one question here that I'm actually curious. Yeah. It says what exactly happens to medical waste? 
such as amputated limbs, stillborn babies, or anything being surgically removed from a patient? Oh, that's a good question. What is it incinerated? They... Yeah, I was gonna say that's thought so. Be my first case at incineration. It's kind of where my thoughts oh, went man, too. To be but that like... person to have to just throw limbs, bags of limbs into a friggin' fireplace. Yeah. <laughs> KFC. <laughs> I want Texas Roadhouse tonight. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> I'll bring up Texas Roadhouse now. It's so oh, good. It's the best. I saw a, a, a reel on how to make their cinnamon butter. Same. It's a lot of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, they make their own croutons, too. Ooh. And they're way good. What's a good, or what are good gifts to give to someone who is rich? Advice. <laughs> a blank check that they can fill out to me. <laughs> that is a good question. A experience, right? I'd make I feel a like, good experience. I feel like handmade stuff. Something they can't stuff? buy. Yeah. I was about to say something similar. Like just something from the heart that like wholesome time. Has a yeah. sentimental type yeah. thing. Not that you gotta have a lot I of I made money you a paper bag. A gift, right? With a heart on it. <laughs> Go back to your childhood. <laughs> when your kids would give you something, you're like, oh, I mean, it's garbage, but I love it. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah, the noodles with glue. Yeah. Is it sad that, like, I feel bad for Reggie. Means a lot, though. Just because, like, when Brinley was preschool age, I wanted to keep everything she brought home. I was like, oh, my gosh, this is, you know, she's going to school. This is... A learning experience and now Kelsey's in preschool and it's kind of hit and miss like she'll have some things that are like oh this is a keeper this one's not you know <laughs> but I'm definitely finding myself going let's be honest like I'm not I'm not coming back to this one <laughs> <The> birth, <laughs> it's just it's just gonna be papers with like birth of a complex his head on it <laughs> like, right. thank you daddy thanks so son like, we have one of those in our wall but thank you <laughs> 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 That's awesome. <laughs> For real. Like I like I've seen it. Every, exactly. <laughs> each kid you're just like you, you're pretty much comparing them to like each there's, other. There's you? some things they bring home that are unique to them. Like I love the ones where they're asked questions and then they answer it mm. and you get like their genuine naive answer mm. type thing and I love those ones, but or the ones that actually show growth in a way, but Yeah. But just the simple little arts and crafts type stuff. I'm like, I don't know. It depends. Could have been better. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you didn't go in the lines at all. <laughs> Was there any effort? Could you, could you see the lines? Do you see the shape there? Did you try and color this using the like see-through side of it on the back? Because <laughs> Yeah, right. <sighs> all right, any... Any last questions? Any last things? Question to the men on behalf of a friend. Oh, this was the one I was asking upstairs. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, it says, so question to the men on behalf of a friend. She found condoms in her <laughs> husband's bag. When he asked about it, or when when asked about it, he said he liked to masturbate to a different feeling. Is this something guys do? That's no feeling. <laughs> he cheating. Honey, he got a different lady. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There is no reason. Or he's looking for one. Yep. There is no reason a married man should have condoms anywhere but in the bedroom. That's, yeah. Like that's you assuming you're You just... don't need... Okay, that's assuming here's my next question. But... Where is it happening? I was right. going to say, if he's supposedly doing this, where is he doing Wherever it? Wherever he yeah. can. <laughs> Anywhere. If it's in the I wallet. Mean, he's like, mobile. Yeah. If the husband has like one in his wallet for that one time. That's that a jack off condom? No, 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 oh. no, no. It's reusable. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> Silicone. As a husband and wife, Shake if there's out. one in the wallet for uh, maybe you're getting risky one time and you just need it there just in case. Other than that, the condom should be. Oh, in the so bedroom. you're so you're saying with the wife, but somewhere exotic. Like if yes. the husband and wife okay. are feeling well, a little. Risky. But that would be a that would be like a here, honey, put this in your wallet for in case we need it somewhere. Like she'd be. That aware wouldn't be of a. It. I'm gonna put this in the wallet and not tell you about it. 
That's a good yeah. point. I feel like you would yeah. talk about yeah, it. You, yeah, the, the wife would know that it's in the wall yes. for that reason. Yeah. But if he just keeps them in there and she's like, oh, why are these in here? Oh, I like to do this. No, he's cheating on you. I mean, come up with a better excuse. Right. But also, why That's, are you just doing Because I didn't want to like, make a mess. Yeah. Because so, the other signal, let's say let's say that he is being genuine. The other signal is you're you're not enough. Yep. I gotta use my hand. That's not, gotta, hey, gotta, wait, wait, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Elaborate. <laughs> I just I just want to know where I have hey, a problem. <laughs> <laughs> like, why on earth if if a guy is like looking to just spruce up the hand game? Why on earth? <laughs> just turn you, your hand around. I was just <laughs> gonna say, there's <laughs> other ways. Play a little pocket wow. pool. <laughs> <laughs> And it looks like it's coming at you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like they say in Gone in 60 Seconds, The Stranger, Sad. where you sit on your hand oh, yeah. until it goes numb. Oh. <laughs> How would you uh. judge Grip? <laughs> it's a two-way street on that one. <laughs> Dude, the other thing that's in it, the majority of these, like, Too Afraid to Ask, are just, like, political. Yeah. They're just dumb. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, give me some juicy. There's, here's a lot of them are like virtue signaling ones. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I don't like those ones. Here's one to think about. Uh, this could be bad to bring up, but oh well. Um, <laughs> sex without consent is always rape. Correct? Yes. Okay. By definition. So how can men prove they received consent for every sexual encounter they had? Got to get in writing. <laughs> a pat means no, a touch means go. <laughs> no, I'm just... No. I, well, have have a paper. You Dude, if I were, sign. If I were a person in that situation, I'd start carrying a book around with me. I would open it up be like, sign here, sign initial here, oh, initial really here, sign a here. Book. <laughs> I yeah, dude, I got to have, I gotta have <laughs> something. Maybe just one paper so they don't think I'm... You know, I was going to say... Just a hoe bag. Did you, ever, like did, you ever see that? On it. did you ever see that reel about Dikembe Mutombo or whatever his name is? Dikembe Mutombo. The big NBA basketball yeah, player. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because weren't they saying something like, you know he what? Would, he's never been accused of yeah. sexual assault. Yeah. He's he, got all the witnesses. Yeah, he walks into a bar and he just kicks open the door and the whole bar goes quiet because a seven foot monster just walked into the room. <laughs> and he would just loudly announce to the room, who wants to sex? Mutombo. <laughs> yep. And then one lady would go, uh, I do. <laughs> and they would go sex. And he's Mutombo. got witnesses. And he's got witnesses all aboard. Is that a true story? Apparently. Yeah. It? yeah. Oh, I got a question. This is one I've thought about. Do you guys believe that you have genetic memory? Like, like Assassin's, Assassin's Creed? Creed? Not that to that degree. But like like scared of certain things, like naturally scared of things. Do you think that's yes. like genetically from ancestors that have had that? Yes. Yeah. That's why I might we're naturally so with afraid of snakes and spiders. So with kids being scared of monsters without even like seeing monsters or anything, do you think it's from like ancestral back in the day when they were like, if you were in the woods and there's big animals coming after you and stuff, do you think that's where that comes from? Hmm. That's a good question. Maybe. Could be. I actually went towards monsters. I read, like I, what if there was like, yeah. Dinosaurs. I wow. did. I did just see something the other day where they talked about. They basically Sorry. talked. To, this doctor talked about that. He was saying that kids are born naturally being afraid of this and this. Everything else is fabricated by really? like, their life. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. I can't remember what it was though. But I wonder because I mean predators. There's a lot of predators that hunt at night. So being scared of the dark and everything. If like, I'm in the woods by myself in the dark, I'm scared as all hell. Um, are you? Yeah. Yeah. What if I was with you? I'd still probably be a little scared. What if we cuddled? <laughs> I would not be scared. I would anymore. be really scared. Right. <laughs> I mean, we're not going to talk about... It's the Vikings. We're not talking oh, about no. the first thing that pops up or anything, <laughs> but we could... I'm just like, hey, just stay next to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> Light bulb. You know, first thing that pops up, I'm asking if it's a twig or something else. So. I don't know, Chris. A twig. <laughs> if I'm with you, is your, is your shot going to be sure, or is it going to be kind of like on Saturday? No, to be sure. <laughs> okay. You sure? Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a valid point. That was a running thing. I was already uncomfortable with it. I should have never done it. The no, other one what are you talking about? I'm talking about your missed shots. I know you are. Oh. The one of the running pig. Oh. I was okay, like, I don't okay. even want to shoot at this thing. Yeah, okay, okay. So, I mean, I wasn't even sure of it to begin with. The sure shots, I was just like, done, dead, dead. I was like, yeah, let's do this. But if something's running at you, that's different. It's running right at you. <laughs> 
That's true. I had to pass you the sidearm on yeah, that. Yeah, dude, that was fun. <laughs> I was ready to pop. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah. We got okay. stuck. Okay. Should we tell the story? Story time. Okay. We, we went hog hunting, which hogs are very aggressive. And we were in this, I mean, the sagebrush was tall. I mean, yeah, it was, it was, height, it was right? super tall sagebrush. Yeah, it was really high. All of a sudden we hear and like sounds and crunching all around us. Like we were in the thick yeah. of these things. Like, I mean, they'll yard, attack you, won't they? Yards yeah. away. Oh, yeah. Not, not lots of yards, just yards. Like maybe, I probably, we were probably 10 feet away. Maybe. How many yards yeah. in a mile? With some of these. <laughs> 5,000. No one knows. No, no one knows. Feet. Oh, that's feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then nobody knows yours. <laughs> all right. So, anyways, I have a sidearm and I have my rifle. And all of a sudden, there's just stuff crunching around us. And I was like, oh, no. Austin looks at me. I'm like, he's all. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at me, shakes his head, and grabs it. And he's just at the ready. Yeah, dude. I was, I was ready. I wasn't going to. Uh, it got a little hairy there for a second. It was fun, though. That's but, crazy. Yeah, it was. Because they'll attack you. I mean, they you got. You can't tough. see them, man. They blended with the same that, brush. And I, we, we learned that in Hannibal. That and I, <laughs> yeah. found, I don't know if this is 100% accurate, but I've heard that pigs are smart enough they'll go for like your femoral artery and stuff when they oh, come to attack no you joke. with their tusks no I mean, in the leg you're in the middle like of this you're, ground, you're in the middle of this big of area of sagebrush and you get hit in the femoral artery you're toast uh -huh. i mean you're sticking a thumb inside somebody's thigh trying to stop that oh you know? my gosh so uh, they're sketchy ding dang that was fun scary get a Glimpse of what it's like to be in Jurassic Park. If that happened to you, I'd stick my thumb in your thigh. I, Jurassic I'd th Park, I'd you thumb mean? You. I'd thumb you That's as well. That's not my wound. Get your thumb out of there. <laughs> hey, this thing's kissing at me. What is it? <laughs> oh, you're the blonde. I'm having piggies. How did it wink? <laughs> <laughs> You're the one having piggies. Oh gosh. Uh, the the bleeding stops just by the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hey. I'm hey, all see, better. It works every time. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my god. Bleeding stop. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. I anyway. think we've we've come to the end of our uh our little uh ad answering of uh, random questions, <laughs> high questions, all the stuff that's happened. It's been a good time. Oh, man. Hope you yeah. enjoyed it. Um, do we have a hashtag for this video? Hashtag thumbing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, folks. Hashtag thumbing. That's T H U M B I N. Thumbing. 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 Um, go ahead and throw that hashtag on your comment. <laughs> And leave us a question if you want to know anything, anything about us, anything about life. If you want us to answer questions like we have here today, <laughs> oh, leave the hashtag. We know the answers to everything. We need to do another AITA from the from the comments. Yeah, okay. we, we never do. did do the one from the link you sent. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We need yeah. to do that. I mean, All we right. do love our AITAs, so if you have any of those, send them in. Let us Be judge. Be patient with us. Am I the a-hole? And I'll, be ready for truth. I'll do my best to remember to put the form link in the description. If I don't, I want to see comments, and then I'll pin it. So, uh, Yes. Yes. But, yeah, that's it for us. We need to go get to bed, yes. get some sleep. I have to um, be up in three hours. Three hours, baby. Oh. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope you guys are having a good night. Thanks, Thanks for being part of this crowd, and we'll see you next time. Love you guys. Ciao. Thanks for being part see of this ya. crowd. Arrivederci. See the same.